Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that might surprise you, the impact of vegan practices on billions of bees in almond and avocado production. Let's explore how the choices we make can have far-reaching consequences for these vital pollinators. If you are new to our channel, smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we delve into the almond and avocado connection, let's understand the critical role bees play in our ecosystem. Bees are an important part of the natural environment, but sometimes we take them for granted. Maybe it's because we don't realize how important they really are. To germinate, most plants require the transfer of pollen from the male part of the flower, the anther to the female part, the stigma. As bees move from flower to flower in search of nectar, they leave behind grains of pollen on the sticky surface, allowing plants to grow and produce food. Bees earn their reputation as busy workers by pollinating billions of plants each year, including millions of crops. Pollinators like bees play a key role in one out of every three bites of food we eat. Without them, many plants we rely on for food would die off. It's not just farm-grown fruits and vegetables that rely on pollinators to thrive. Many species of wild plants depend on insect pollinators as well. Bees are responsible for the production of many seeds, nuts, berries, and fruit, which serve as vital food sources for wild animals. As pollinators, bees play a part in every aspect of the ecosystem. They support the growth of trees, flowers, and other plants, which serve as food and shelter for creatures large and small. Bees contribute to complex, interconnected ecosystems that allow a diverse number of different species to coexist. So, there is no doubting the importance of bees to our food supply. Without them, our gardens would be bare and our plates empty. One thing that most sensible people can agree on whether they're vegan, meat eaters, follow paleo or keto diets, or whatever food tribe they happen to belong to, is that avocados are delicious. But there's a paradigm-shifting debate online about the very nature of avocados that could make some of the eaters who appreciate them the most renounce them. Depending on how strict their definition of veganism is, some vegans may be dismayed to learn that the avocado almond milk smoothies they've been drinking might, gasp, not be so vegan after all. Vegans eschew not only products made from animals, such as bacon and leather, but also products made by animals, the most obvious examples being milk and butter. So now, let's see how big the avocado industry is. The global avocado market is valued at over $12.8 billion and is expected to grow to $17.9 billion by 2025. The growth is triggered by the increased awareness of avocado's health benefits and a rapid cultural adaptation by millennials. The largest producer of avocados is Mexico, accounting for 34% of the global market, while the biggest importer is North America, representing a whopping 52% of all global imports. Here's how North America acts up against the rest of the world. Should vegans avoid eating avocados and almonds? The traditional definition of veganism is avoiding food produced by animals, including honey as a product of bees. But Dominic Wilkinson, director of medical ethics at Oxford University, says that under this definition, perhaps vegans should consider other roles required by bees in modern farming practice. Almonds are not self-pollinating, and while avocados technically can self-pollinate, they require help from pollinators as the male and female parts of the flower aren't open at the same time. As a result, bees are imported in huge numbers to help pollinate these crops. The large majority, around 80% of the world's almonds are produced in California, where sunny weather and mild winters provide perfect conditions and has led to a monoculture type crop cultivation to satisfy the huge demand for almonds in anything from confectionery, cosmetics, and dairy alternatives. Almond trees require cross-pollination and honeybees are essential for this process. To meet the ever-growing demand for almonds, California's almond industry has significantly expanded, leading to an increased demand for honeybee colonies. 
Unfortunately, this intensification has put considerable stress on bee populations. The migration of honeybee colonies across the United States to meet almond pollination needs has intensified their exposure to various stresses. Large-scale monoculture practices and the extensive use of pesticides in almond orchards have been identified as key contributors to increased bee mortality rates. A study published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology in 2015 found that almond orchards in California expose honeybees to a combination of stresses, including pesticides, monoculture practices, and limited forage diversity, leading to increased mortality rates among bees. According to Wilkinson, speaking to The Times, 31 billion bees are transported to Californian almond farms each year, and research showed that the journeys affected their health and shortened their lives, and this strain on bees is what has prompted the debate around ethical vegan choices. Avocados are another crop that has seen an unprecedented rise in popularity across the world, fueled by a millennial generation, Instagram, and healthy eating, with farmers across the world racing to switch land into avocado production. The huge demand is leading to a monoculture crop system in some countries, leading to a need for ever greater numbers of pollinators. According to From the Grapevine, American avocados also fully depend on bees' pollination to produce fruit, so farmers have turned to migratory beekeeping as well to fill the void left by wild populations. US Farmers have become reliant upon the practice, but migratory beekeeping has been called exploitative and harmful to bees. CNN reported that commercial beekeeping may injure or kill bees, and that transporting them to pollinate crops appears to negatively affect their health and lifespan. Prioritizing one ethical debate over another shouldn't require a trade-off, but ultimately the vital role of pollinators and bees should always remind us of the need for better farming systems, using fewer chemicals and more diversity to mutually benefit both crops and insect life. If you are a vegan, you have a responsibility to minimize harm to all living beings, including bees, and to advocate for sustainable and ethical farming practices. There are ways to make a positive impact. Supporting local, organic, and sustainable farming practices can help protect bee habitats and reduce the negative effects of long-distance bee transportation. And also, there are alternative sources of plant-based protein and healthy fats that do not rely on the use of bees for pollination, and many vegans choose to consume these foods instead. By supporting a diverse range of plant-based foods and advocating for more sustainable and ethical farming practices, we can work towards a future where the demand for plant-based foods is met responsibly and sustainably and minimizes harm to all living beings. In conclusion, our vegan choices do have an impact on billions of bees, especially in almond and avocado production. By understanding the complexities of these systems and making informed choices, we can contribute to a healthier environment for both humans and pollinators. So, what do you think? Can vegans eat avocados and almonds? Now we'd love to hear from you. Do you think buying avocados and almonds is vegan? Let us know in the comments. I hope this video was informative to you and don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Thank you for watching and I will meet you soon with another interesting video. Until then, like, comment, share, subscribe and stay tuned to our channel.